my name is Kayla and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my acne story. So I have been dealing with acne the past 11 years. It started when I was in high school. I was 16 years old and up until that point I never really had a problem. Out of nowhere I just started kind of getting one or two pimples and then it was becoming prom season and I was freaking out and it was like what am I going to do and so I started going to a dermatologist to get my skin cleared up and so when I went to the dermatologist they kind of gave me you know every kind of pill you could think of and it worked really fast and it took care of it right away but continually it just kept coming back after a couple years of the acne coming and going, I finally decided I was ready to try something a little bit stronger, and that's when I decided to do the Accutane. So for me, Accutane was really hard on my body, and it was physically painful, my whole skin was so dry, and it was going really good. After a few months of doing it, though, I did have to stop. My skin did look great for about two years, and then all of a sudden, it was like I had never done Accutane before because everything started to come back. So this summer is when my acne really started coming back. It started slow, it was one or two at a time, no big deal. I kind of thought it was stress because I was starting up another school year and I really didn't think too much about it right away. But as more and more pimples started to pop up and I knew it was becoming a big problem, I then decided I've been doing medicine for the past 11 years and it's clearly not working, so I need to try something else. So this part is a little bit harder for me to talk about. Um, when I said I go to school, I mean I'm a teacher and I'm currently teaching middle schoolers and you know middle schoolers, they just say whatever is on their mind. So it started as one or two pimples and then obviously there's a lot more and as you are up close with a child trying to teach them, they are supposed to be paying attention to what you're telling them but instead they're kind of paying attention to everything that was going on on my face. And so that was really hard for me and not only just at school teaching kids but also talking to other adults going on trips even seeing my family there were a lot of times where someone would ask me to do something and i would simply say no because the only thing i wanted to do was to be at home with my makeup washed off and not have anyone look at me at that point i went online and i just started looking up different places that i could go to in bismarck and I found some options that were good, but what I really wanted to do is look at their Facebook and look at their Instagram and see which place was really about the customer and not so much about the treatment. So I was looking on Facebook and Instagram to find someone that really stood out to me and that's when I found the Rejuvenation Place. And so I sent a message to the Rejuvenation Place and I think it was almost instantly I had a message back, but it wasn't an automatic message. It was actually a personal message from Gina reaching out to me and right away she was like, yes, I can totally help you. And instead of saying, call and make an appointment, she actually gave me her personal cell phone number and said, if you wouldn't mind, text me so we can kind of get the details figured out. So I texted her and we met up just a few days later. I didn't have to wait months and months to get an appointment. It was only a couple days. And within our first consult, I realized like, wow, she really truly does care about my skin and care about me. And she's obviously not here just to make money. She's here to help me feel good about myself. So we had our initial consult and then I came back for my first appointment with her and right away she made me feel so comfortable. Obviously I was terrified to have her wipe off my makeup and see my acne even though she's a professional and does this all the time. And so I didn't know what to expect after my initial appointment but I had only been home for maybe two hours and Gina had already sent me another text message and it wasn't just like, hey, hope you enjoyed your treatment. It was a really long detailed message of everything that we had went through and how to take care of my skin in the coming days up until my next appointment. So then when I was getting ready to go to my next appointment, I didn't just wait to tell her what happened at my next appointment. She actually was messaging me every day, just making sure that things were going well and that I was comfortable, that I wasn't in pain and just kind of seeing what I needed. At this point, I've only been working with Gina for maybe about a month or so, but our personal relationship has grown so much. I definitely feel like I know her a lot better than of only knowing her for a month or so. But something that's so great about Gina as well is she is truly a skincare expert 
However, if there's something that she is unsure about or if we come to a point in my skincare that she's not sure what's moved to do next, she has built so many relationships with so many people outside of just her area of work that she is able to reach out to many other skin experts and ask for help and she isn't afraid to ask for help or admit when she doesn't know something. She truly wants to help everyone that she works with. I just mentioned that I've been working with Gina for about a month now on my skincare and as you can see I still have some work to go but when I came and met with Gina the first time I had so many deep painful cysts and now we have been able to bring a lot of those to the surface. There was a big purging period but most of those are coming out now and now we just have to deal with some of the little imperfections. So we do have some work to go and it's been about a month. We probably have four or five months. A typical treatment I would say is about six months time, but I'm just very pleased with everything that's been happening now. So I am sharing my journey online. You can find me at North Dakota Teaching on Instagram and Facebook, or you can also find me on my blog, NorthDakotaTeaching.com.